हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल दिस इज योर मैथ्स टीचर श्वेता बजाज हे ओ आई एम बैक अगेन विद चैप्टर थ्री प्लेइंग विद नंबर्स बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन ऑन टाइम एंड राइट योर नेम क्लास एंड सेक्शन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन द टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री सी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Now in exercise three C, first of all I have taken question number seven, and question number seven says that write all the even numbers between seventy four and ninety. Students, you already know that the even numbers are those numbers which ends in zero, two, four, six, and eight. So the even numbers between seventy four and ninety are first will be seventy six, then seventy eight, then eighty, then eighty two, then eighty four, then eighty six, and the last will be eighty eight. So hopefully this question number seven first part is clear to you. Now next question is. Question number eight and question number eight says that write the smallest digit in the blank space of each of the numbers so that the number formed is divisible by four. So students, you already know the divisibility rule of four. The you know that the rule says that. If the number formed by the last two digits of the given number is divisible by four, then the given number is divisible by four. Now here in the first part, the number formed by the last two digits is sixty-four, and on dividing this sixty-four by four, what you will observe? You observe that this. Remainder is coming out to be zero. That means the sixty-four is divisible by four, right? So now in this blank, you have to write the smallest digit so that the number is divisible by four, and the smallest digit we can take here is zero. Now, if I will put zero here, then if you want, you can check that this number thirty six thousand eight hundred sixty four is divisible by four. Hopefully, first part is clear to you. Now, see the second part. In the second part, the number formed by the last two digits is forty four, and on dividing this forty four by four, you will get Again, zero as a remainder. So that means this whole number is divisible by four. So and in this blank, you want to write the smallest digit, and the smallest digit is nothing but zero. Only here we can put. So this sixty one lakh twenty thousand forty four is divisible by. Four. If you want, you can check by dividing it by four. Hopefully, this second part is also clear to you. Next question is question number nine. Now, in this question, it says that write a digit in the blank space of each of the numbers so that the number formed is divisible by fifteen. Now, students, you already know the divisibility rule of fifteen. Now, and the rule says that if the number is divisible by both three and five, then the given number is divisible by fifteen. Now, for divisibility by three, you know the divisibility rule of three. It says that if the sum of the digits Is divisible by three. Then the given number is divisible by three. So here, first of all, we will find out the sum of the digits. Now, on doing the sum of the digits, six plus eight will gives me fourteen. Fourteen plus one will gives me fifteen. And fifteen plus zero again fifteen. And fifteen plus five will gives me twenty. 
now but 20 is not divisible by 3 so if i will take 1 here then i will get my sum as 21 so here i am taking the number as 1 now please check again 6 plus 8 will gives me 14 14 plus 1 will gives me 15 15 plus 1 will gives me 16 16 plus 0 again 16 and 16 plus 5 will gives me 21 and that 21 is divisible by 3 so therefore this uh, 6 lakh 81105 is divisible by 3 now for checking the divisibility by 5 you know the given number is you know that the given number is divisible by 5 if the digit at the ones place is either 0 or 5 now here the digit at the ones place is given to be 5 therefore the give given number is divisible by 5 now from here what you got that this number is divisible by both 3 and 5 so therefore 6,81,105 is divisible by 15. Hopefully, it is clear to you. Now, next I have taken a second part. In second part, again, firstly, we will check the divisibility by 3. And for checking the divisibility by 3, we will check, uh, we will add the, add the digits. Now, on adding the digits, 7 plus 9 will gives me 16 16 plus 8 is equals to 24 24 plus 0 is equals to 24 again 24 plus 5 29 and 29 plus 0 is equals to 29 now this 29 is not divisible by 3 so if i will take 1 here then 29 plus 1 will gives me 30 that means this number 79,80,150 is divisible by 3. Also, see, this number is divisible by 5 also. Why? Because the digit at the ones place is 0. So, this 79,80,150 is divisible by both 3 and 5. Therefore, 79,80,150 is divisible by 15. So, in the blank, we can take the number as 1. Hopefully, second part is also clear to you. So, with this, our exercise 3C is over. So, after discussing this, as usual, I am attaching home task in the PDF form in description. For any doubts and queries, you can leave your message in the comment section. I hope you like the video. Thank you.